Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Super Mario Odyssey Superstar mode. I'm having so much fun with this, it's so hard and it's such, it's, it's like this really fascinating puzzle game. Um, trying to figure out, you know, what you're intended to do to get past these challenges. Last time we had to figure out how to break into this, uh, there's no chain jump anymore, but there is a bullet, but the bullet is too low, but it turns out bullet bills in this game can actually go up slopes. Uh, that never comes up in the base game, so I had no idea they could do that. I'm just gonna do a little bit of this. Make that a little bit easier to manage. Oh, hello. Hang on. Oh, oh, you meant to bop- oh. Uh, okay, I messed that up. Hang on. I'm just gonna reset so I can try that again. By, uh, warping to where we are. Just to reload the area. You need to not kill those Goombas because you need to bounce off them to get enough height. Means we have to re just redo this whole 2D area. No big deal. The first couple of Goombas, no big deal. They're the same as normal. Boop. Uh, same with the Spinies. You can just do that if you want. that work. These Goombas, you have to keep alive. Because you need a stepping stool. And now they're going to fall down the hole, aren't they? <laughs> this is going to be a, a little bit of hassle. <laughs> okay. I, I am really impressed with like the little changes that have been made here that make the game like dramatically harder. Okay, you need to like immediately jump off of them as soon as you get up there. You can't, you can't dilly dally at all, or it won't work. Although if I, hmm, I might be able to time it a bit better so they have a bit more time to get up there before they mess me up. Hang on. Pew pew pew. First part is easy. This part isn't too tricky. The spinies here aren't really a big problem. Just get rid of them and you'll be fine. Okay, so here what we want to do. Wait till they're like here-ish, then we follow them like this. There we go. And that gets us our third moon. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -dum -ba. Yeah! <laughs> oh my goodness gracious me. Alright, now we are actually stuck on this side. It's not a problem because we can just warp out, but it's an interesting little little quirk there. Okay, so now we're going to go take on Madame Brood. Uh, let's see if there's anything up here. The answer is no. There is a spectacular view, as usual. But uh, in the base game, there would be a life up heart up there. That would help you out with the Madame Brood fight, but there isn't one anymore. <laughs> um... Wait, are there... Yeah, there's a bunch of Burbos here. Uh, just a bunch on top of the breakable part there. A bunch over here on the bridge. Okay, let's see what they did to this fight. Hey, Madam Brood. How you doing? Oh! Are we already doing the harder version of the fight? Yeah, newly powered up Jane Chompikins. Okay, so basically, this is what this is what she says when you meet her in the Moon Kingdom, and you do like a harder version of the fight. We seem to already be doing that. <laughs> I'm guessing when we meet her in the Moon Kingdom in this game, it will be even harder than that. Oh, and the little, like, uh, normally there's, like, a trail showing where the Chain Chomp's going to go, so you can dodge it more easily. That seems to be gone now as well. Boop. Still not a super hard fight, I would say. But it's definitely harder. Okay, Chompy now has five hats. All of which must be removed, of course. Ow. If we're going for damage list, then that would be a problem, but we're not. <laughs> I 
bump. Okay, so yeah, Madam Brood's still not tough, but that was harder. Curious to see if anything else is different. Um, ba da ba, nah, no, it's just normal. Ba da 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 I am really enjoying this hack, just just in case anyone didn't know already. I've said that a bunch of times so far, but I'm having a lot of fun. Okay, we can now power up the Odyssey. Um, I think we will. Uh, there's more moons we can get here now, of course, but... I assume there are. Like, there, there should be a bunch more moons scattered around now. I can see a charm challenge. Let's have a quick little look and see. I assume this is harder than normal. Yes, this is harder than normal. Oh my god, that is real hard. This one harder? This one is normal? That one's just normal. Hmm. But some of the moons are a lot more difficult. Others haven't been changed. Is that a nut? Do, do you want me to use the wet nut glitch? Because I can't. I'm on 1.1. I'm on won't work. Hang on, I can't pick it up. Okay, so there's just like a nut hanging out down there that I can't do anything with. I'm confused. <laughs> um, okay. I'm thinking we go onto Sands now and see what's different there. We have a sort of an idea of what's different in Cascade. Oh, the pipe's there. Huh. Maybe the pipe only shows up once you beat Madame Brood. I'm not really sure. Oh, and those little, like, ledges... The little ledges I talked about in the previous video that normally spawn here are still not here. I think that's them over there? Maybe? Oh, and the platform... okay. <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> Some of the stuff I was talking about, like, being different in the previous video, is now not different. I, I guess the game works a little differently than I thought it did. Like, um... That's... that's the... That is the island with the secret path that wasn't showing up before, but the moon was. So I guess that that's just what happens. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, let's just move on to the Sand Kingdom for the moment and see what's going on there. Interesting that uh, Skellux didn't change the moon quotas. Like, you still only need five moons to advance here. Um, to make the game, like, more difficult, like, those numbers could have been increased, so you have to do more of each kingdom before you can advance. Maybe the later ones will be, will be tweaked and this one just happens to be a special case, or maybe they're all normal, I don't know. Odyssey is restored. Uh, okay, the moon has a Skellux face on it. <laughs> Let's go to the Sand Kingdom. Yeah, I'll skip to the movie. I, I really like the music there, but we don't need to see it. I do like you as a captain's hat. Uh, yeah. Ground pound, yeah, I know about ground pounding. I'm playing a hard mode hack, I already know all this stuff. <laughs> I'm surprised that this stuff doesn't get skipped in the hack, like, it makes sense. There's the moon again with a Skellux face on it. <laughs> hmm. Okay, well, Tostarina. Uh, looks normal? Like, Cascade was obviously different, but so far Tostarina looks the same. Up the highest tower. What's different? Okay, we're on a little platform. Uh, we were not actually on a little platform in the base game. The sand hurts you! Oh my, this is gonna be a thing. 
Uh, I have done this challenge before as well. Um, I didn't do it very well, I messed up a lot, but it is a challenge I've done. Uh, I'm familiar with what it entails, which is basically making your way from one icicle to the next. Just the careful sort of... Ow. Oh, this is going to be a thing. <laughs> okay, so you start on a little tiny platform because now the sand is painful. <laughs> Just get on the Odyssey for a bit more height. We should be able to land on that icicle uh, if we pull this off correctly. Ow. I'm glad it doesn't instantly kill, like it's not poison sand, it's like just pain sand. Um, because poison would be a problem. Uh, I'm not actually sure where you're intended to go from here. Maybe that umbrella? I don't know, it looks too far. Maybe you just meant to take some damage? I'm not sure. It seems unlikely. You can just, you know, basically tank your way over to the sand, to the to the ground. Better than that, but you can do it. Hmm. I'm gonna keep trying to do it the presumably intended way, if I can figure out where you're supposed to go, ideally. <laughs> maybe you're not supposed to maybe you're supposed to start by going that direction? Ow. Hang on, there's also that big icicle behind the Odyssey. I wonder if that's relevant. I think the icicle layout is a bit different to what the way it is in the base game. Okay, that just breaks when you stand on it. This one you can stand on though. Hmm. And I assume you're not supposed to just damage boost your way over to that checkpoint because that just doesn't seem like an interesting challenge. That's just sort of silly. Um, it's doable, I'm pretty sure, but it's it's not fun. Um, and it doesn't like require you know tricky jumps and stuff. Basically, just careful. <sighs> Why are you having so much trouble with that? So you can just do that and get to the flag that way. But I assume you're not supposed to. But also I can't see how else you're supposed to do it. Hmm. I think the icicle layout is actually different. So I'm not super sure what the route would be. Also, all the sand in the city still hurts, so you don't forget. <laughs> Can we go in there without getting hurt? Uh, maybe. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! That's one moon of 16. <sighs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're not, you're not just supposed to damage boost your way through there, but... Oh! Oh, okay. Get off the sand, Mario. Sand hurts. Maybe, maybe some damage boosting is intended? Because, like, that was unavoidable. That was like the cutscene hurt me, basically. Oh, hello. There isn't a moon here. It normally would be. Oh, that's different. Uh... What's happening here? Okay, we've got a bunch of, like, invisible blocks or something?
Maybe I'm just, maybe I need to hit them all in one go or something and then the moon will spawn? I'm not sure if it's completely replaced the normal like ground pound in the right spot challenge or not. Let's just reset it and have another look. Because you can do stuff like that. All of these are just coins, as I can tell. Yeah, I'm not sure what this one means. No way you can't feel the vibration of my controller, but it doesn't really help me very much anyway, so that's probably fine. <laughs> hmm, I don't know about that one. Employees only wasn't changed at all, except that you take some damage from the sand. Um, that one was pretty easy. Oh right, we have to cross some more sand in order to get over there. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, there's quite a bit of sand in this uh, desert. Okay, see if we can do this a bit better than we did for the first little bit. Ow. <sighs> That's not a great start. Okay. Ow. <sighs> this is an interesting change. Uh, shall we say. Ow. That would have worked, except that I just sort of slid off the platform. Uh, yeah, I, I know I can walk. I've, I've, I've done it a bunch of times already because I needed to do it in, in the first kingdom. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. I mean, second kingdom, technically. Escape, but... Oh yeah, I'm at one health, that's right. Um... I should just stand on some sand so I get my health back. <laughs> I didn't actually mean to do that, I was trying to climb up. Like, it looks like I did mean to do that because I just said that, but it was still accidental. Okay, I think going to here first and dropping down that way. Oh, you slide off automatically? Oh, really? It's rude. Skellix up there with that evil grin, watching me suffer. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course, I'm having lots of fun. Just to, just to be clear. The thing about ice is it's kind of slippery. Um, I don't know if you knew that, but it's a little bit of a fact about ice. <laughs> okay, um... I wonder if these icicles were positioned by Nintendo on purpose to let you do this kind of thing. Like, they do have coins on them, which so suggests you're supposed to... Oh, Gaffy! <laughs> Cutie! Okay, we made it here without getting hurt. Let me just chuck down a checkpoint here. Uh... Oh god. Don't go in the sand.
Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Don't miss your chance! Oh! Don't miss your chance! I just realised what that means. Once the ice melts, there's not going to be any way to get up here. The bullets mustn't fly far enough, and like the, the wire mustn't travel over this spot anymore. This hack is mean! <laughs> I mean, I automatically did that because, you know, that's kind of a standard thing to do, but... Oh, that's interesting. Normally that goes down all the way when you flip that lever. Must be a reason it doesn't in this version. Hmm. I think that icicle might be new, but I'm not sure. And yeah, the lava is new. That, that would normally be uh, quicksand. <laughs> it is now lava. And these prickles are also new. These are not normally here. Uh, let me see. Okay, the moon that would normally be in a crate over here is no longer in a crate over here. Uh, like a little blockage over there for some reason. Hmm. Does this sand hurt me too? It does. I just need to make sure. Oh no, they're little lava geysers. <laughs> okay, there's some Cooper Troopers in there now. Make it a little more interesting. You can still just do this and not worry about it. Okay, so how far can this bullet actually go? Oh! Oh, okay, so the bullet probably can fly that far. It's just that there's like a wall in the way. <laughs> Oh, wow. This is... This is a really interesting hack. <laughs> Let me just grab a little health there. Ah, uh, there would normally be a moon on one of those pillars over there. Looks like it's been moved somewhere else. It was too easy. Presumably. Normally you could stand in the, like, rising sand pillars here. Now you can't because it's it's fire, it, it burns you. Um, so you have to use a cap caps roll or whatever to get across. Still not hard unless you mess it up like I just did. You just gotta do that. Very easy. Uh, there was a moon in one of these crates. I don't know if it's still there. There's a P-switch now. P-switch. Okay, it made a moon spawning sound, but I don't know where. It didn't just play the little cutscene that normally plays when you spawn a moon somewhere. But I don't know where to go. Hmm. Okay, hang on. I can see a, uh, a Moai over there. That's probably relevant. Come here, friend. Hmm. I'm not seeing anything invisible that is becoming visible with my shades on. Oh, the big invisible barrier around the area is visible. Hmm. Oh, it's that moon! Oh, that one! Oh, so you have to use a bullet to get there. Instead of getting there another way. Interesting. I'm guessing the Moai is mostly here to let you know that there's that invisible wall around everything. So the moon that would normally be where that P-switch is doesn't seem to be here at all. There it is. Hmm. Oh god, look where the seeds are now. The seeds are really easy to get to in the normal game. But now they're in very tricky locations, if you think about it. You can't walk while you're carrying one. Uh, this 2D area looks a bit trickier as well. Yeah, we got, yeah, we got bullets at different heights. One could potentially hit you as you enter. Oh, 
Uh, there's some bullets down there as well. There are no bullets in this area normally. Wow, there's lots and lots of bullets down here. Oh, let me just dodge that. Dodge. Oh, jeez. I am having my my butt kicked here. Taking a lot of damage. Oh god, there's <laughs> so many of them. <laughs> They're everywhere. <laughs> oh wow. Um, we still want to go down that hole. Like it's surrounded by lava, but maybe. Ow! All oh, right, that's sand. Uh, have a look. Okay, there's still something down here. Okay, and there's there's bullet bills down here now. That's new. Uh, let's have a little look. There are a lot more bullet bills in this game than in the original, I would say. <laughs> they seem to move a lot faster than they do in the original. Oh, and there's more of them too, I think. Ahem! <clears throat> okay, let's... Oh! Uh, I was bulleted. I should spawn at the beginning of the room, though, so no big deal. See? This sand doesn't hurt, by the way, which is interesting. Because it doesn't count as sand. Want to be crushed. Oh, they don't get crushed. I don't think I've ever seen that animation in this game before. Like, obviously it can happen. I don't think I've, I don't think I've ever had it happen. Because this game is normally quite easy. <laughs> These are much, much slower in the normal game. <laughs> uh, I wonder if this leads to um the top of Jaxi Temple like it does in the base game. It might not, because there's like a much more difficult way to get to the top of Jaxi Temple without going through here. Means, of course, that this way doesn't need to go there. In theory, anyway. Let's get rid of those guys first. There we go. Ah! I need to act quicker. <laughs> I think this is more or less the same, except like way faster. And also, there's some bullets. Also, maybe there were some regular Goombas here. If you capture a regular Goomba, you don't slip on the ice while you're captured, so it can be helpful in these areas with icy floors. This game is hard. <laughs> uh, let's walk back up to the sand pillar and have another look around.
Yeah, that's this spot. I mean, it's not really sand pillar now, it's some... Um, a little spicier than that, let's say. Wait, there's a pipe there. Hang on. I just noticed is that there's actually a pipe hanging out underneath the middle one. What could be in there? Oh, that's going to be really hard to get to. I guess that's where the secret room one is now. Because you can't really dive into the lava to go over there. You can with quicksand. Uh, the timing is going to be a thing. <laughs> I need to jump down like as it's lowering basically. <sighs> and then go into the pipe like immediately. <laughs> Okay, I'll just do this and then end the video, I think. We're at a half hour. And I've gotten two moons. <laughs> okay, if you're bouncing around because of the fire, you can't go down the pipe because you're bouncing around because of the fire and it interrupts all the stuff you're trying to do. <laughs> oh, jeez. I can see it there. I will go down this pipe. I swear to you. <laughs> uh, what is down there? Yes, I got it. And yeah, I guessed correctly. It's that room. Uh, okay, hidden room in the flowing sands. Okay. Okay, so that's how you get that one. <laughs> This game is hard. Oh, oh, and there's that block. So I would need to bring the bullet around here instead? Uh, does it work with this bullet or is it too low? Let's find out. Too low. Although maybe the stairs would let you go up? I don't know if the stairs work like a slope or not. Let's find out. I did say I was gonna stop after that previous moon, but I, I'm in the middle of finding a moon here. Oh, there's a pot there. Okay. So it's not that tricky to get the, um... Okay, there we go. <laughs> not that tricky to get the seed to that spot, um... As opposed to all the way back to Tostarina Town, which may be impossible. Um, okay, so let's find out. Do these stairs work like a slope? They don't. So you need to use a bullet that's higher up to begin with. Probably the one over there. Although it looks a bit too high. So... Maybe one of those? Oh no, there's, there's a chest. There's no bullets over there. I, saw, I thought I saw a bullet. Oh yeah, that's right. That's sand. <laughs> I keep forgetting. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, that's about it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope the sheer absurdity of this version of the game is... Uh, as enjoyable to watch as it is to play. <laughs> I am, because I'm having a lot of fun, and I really hope you're having a lot of fun with it too. Um, I definitely would not recommend this as, like, your first take on Mario Odyssey. You need some pretty good system, like, uh, game mechanic mastery to do a lot of this stuff. Um, especially, like, that very first part in the Cap Kingdom. That is real hard. Uh... But it's really fun, is my point. It's basically what I'm saying here. It's it's fun. Good. I like it. I might be too high. Let me just have a quick look. Yeah, yeah, it's going to fly over it. That won't work either. I need one exactly the right height. Uh, which might be... I think that one over there, maybe? Or is that one at the same height as this one? You know, I just have to have a quick look. This one's even this one is a little bit lower, so that won't work either. No, no the same. Mm -hmm. Hmm. 
Uh, I don't know. I will think about it. I'm gonna solve that puzzle next time. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!